Hello everyone, welcome back to Hotline Topics. It was in April this year that this Fuji icon was still a biodetola, popularly known as Pasuma, gave out his daughter's hand in marriage. That was quite an emotional thing, as this Fuji star even shed some tears and spoke about how hard it was for him to let go of his daughter. The name of his daughter is Barakat or Oida Mola. She's the second daughter and her husband's name is Olajuma. On his official social media platform that day, he wrote, the beauty and challenge of parenthood is that as tightly as you would like to hold on to your precious one, you continually need to let go. I now truly understand that there is nothing like seeing your tiny toad all grown up and dressed in a bridal attire for a big day. I must tell you there is no such sacred bond like father and daughter. Today has been such a roller coaster ride of emotions for me. Looking at my little angel dressed up as the most beautiful bride in a Nikai wedding dress. Surely this is a momentous time in every parent's life. Letting go of your daughter is not a simple act, but this is an inevitable path that cannot be dodged, no matter how badly you want to. Oinda Mola and Ola I wish you both great happiness together. I believe that not only will your love last, this will be a proof to all who surround you that love is beautiful, kind, and enduring. And today, his daughter, Oinda Mola, shared that she herself and her husband, Ola Jumon, have welcomed their bundle of joy, a newborn baby. Making this Fuji maestro and your back to a grandfather. So congratulations to Pasuma, his daughter and her family on welcoming this new bundle of joy. For those who may want to know more about Wasu Alabi Pasuma, please stay with us as you see some lovely photos which were taken on the wedding day of Wasu Alabi Pasuma's daughter Barakat and her husband Ola Juma. Wasio Labi Pasuma was born on November 27, 1967. He's also known as Oganla. He's a Nigerian film actor and Fuji musician. This Fuji icon was born to the Odetolas and became a successful musician. He was born in Mushi part of Lagos State. And he was brought up in both Mushi and Kwara. In the year 1973, Pasuma enrolled at Muslim Mission Primary School. And six years later, he moved to Nigeria Model High School to pursue his secondary school education. Pasuma spoke about his childhood, that he went through hell and suffering. There were days when he only ate once, and his mother would ask him to eat at night so that he would not go to bed hungry. Pasuma Labi Pasuma's mother would sometimes tell him, as you are eating this food, make sure you finish it because you are not going to eat anything again until later in the night. He didn't have it easy at all, and when he was only 9 years old, his parents got separated since then, his mother single-handedly raised him. His father wanted him to be a medical doctor as he himself was a well-educated man. He wanted his children to have good life. And the career of Fuji musicians back in those days was not associated with good earnings. His mother also did not accept his decision to be a Fuji musician. However, once his mother realized that this was his chosen path, she started to support him. And his mother wanted him to succeed because she wanted to be proud of her son. Right from childhood, he had the dream of becoming hugely popular, and this came true. He couldn't begin his career at Summer House other than Mushi, and he actually decided that he was going to get out of Mushi and make a difference. This artist started singing when he was in secondary school while his friends were participating in sports. Himself and some of his other friends would pull themselves aside and sing. In January 1984, he started writing songs. The young artist was inspired by K1 The Ultimate, who released an album titled Talazo 84. And he realized that if someone could create something like that, and that would become a hit, that he could also do something similar, even better. He started his musical career at the young age of 17. But his first album was not recorded until the year 1993. He started working with Aurora Records, and that was when he recorded his first album called Recognition. After he completed the secondary school education, he evolved music-wise significantly and after that first album was released, his fame grew within and beyond Mushi. Then he released the second album, Title Choices. He said he picked the title choices because there were many Fuji musicians on the street of Mushi, but only he was chosen to be a new musician in the town, to become famous all over Nigeria. The year after this, he released a subsequent album or Kibo. This earned him an award as the best new Fuji artist at the FMA Awards. Before the release of this album, Osela Bipasma was like any other Fuji musician in motion. And he revealed this in an interview. 
after the release of Oropo Kibo, my whole life changed. No, it did not come to me as a surprise. I knew from the beginning that God's love for me had been finalized and I was destined to become big. But when? I didn't know. In my early days, there were pointers to what God had in store for me as I was loved everywhere I performed. The title of that album, Oropo Kibo, was created by one of Pasuma's backup vocalists. We used it during one of the rehearsal sessions. Musician asked the fellow about the word's meaning, and he told him that it was just a slang word that he heard somewhere. Originally, the slang Orobo means fat woman. Orobo Kibo was the album that brought him to the limelight, and this album led to his first ever concert at Benz in 1996. That was how the journey started. In 1997, Pasuma started performing at Lucky Sun Splash. In 2015, he surpassed many artists like Olamide, Fino, Flavor, and becoming the winner of the Best Indigenous Artist of the Year Award at the Nigerian Entertainment Awards. In 2016, he was nominated for the Best Future Non-Islamic Artist in Islamic Album. He collaborated with many famous Nigerian artists as well that year, including Saeedu Shubha, Bola, Bimbola, King Sonia Adi, and many others. When talking about his career choice, the singer once revealed that he could have been a footballer. In his words, I could have been a footballer, a professional footballer. I was part and parcel of Kodak 985 on the 17th. I couldn't travel with the team. They dropped me. Only God knows why that happened. Maybe if I had gone, I would not have been the successful musician I am today. They had to go to the World Cup then, and they dropped me. So I was part of the Kodak under 17 World Cup team, made up of Fatai Atere. Thank God they dropped me. If not that they dropped me, I wouldn't be a musician today. No regrets. I don't regret becoming a musician. It's been a blessing. Some of his other albums include Judgment, Unique and Superior, Fujimotion, Maintain and Sustain, Initiator, Import and Export, Stability, In and Out, Infinity, Role Model, Influential, Purity, just to mention a few of them. So this is a little bit about this new grandfather in town. As you, Alabi Pasuma, we have come to the end of this episode. We are saying once again congratulations to Asi Alabi Pasuma, his daughter, and a new family on welcoming this new bundle of joy. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.